Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about one of the major issue automation test engineers go through every single day while automating their application, especially the UI automation test engineer who go through this problem. If you ask me what exactly is the problem, just try to guess. Is it the uh, locator problem or the test data problem or maybe the browser compatibility issue or maybe running it in the uh, faster or slower fashion? Well, no, none of these problems exist. The major problem which happens in the UI automation testing is the fragility of the automation testing itself. Especially the browser keeps running it and suddenly because of some Windows update or maybe the browser crash, the just the browser just closes and then it just disappears from, uh, from the UI and you can't do any operation. And also maybe there is a UI locator change happen and the user could not able to perform, I mean their automation testing could not able to perform any operation on the UI and then your test fails. So any change which happens in the user interface, your test just fails. In order to address this problem, we have got this MCP or the Playwright MCP server from Azure Automation. Especially uh, the, the handling of the errors, if there happens any browser crash or maybe you accidentally close any browser or there is any accidental pop-up window and your browser automation uh, especially from the Playwright MCP server, if it couldn't able to handle it, it will retry and think how to handle that situation and fix the particular problem. Now that is what we are going to be discussing in this particular video. So if I just going to go and paste this particular command over here, it is pretty much exactly the same command that I'm using it for many demonstration. Maybe it is in database testing or code generation or how to use it with the Visual Studio Code. The same command which I'm using it even over here for the uh, for the cloud desktop. And I'm trying to run this code over here. And you will notice that this command will now invoke the code generation because that's what I told here to generate the code once the execution happens. And I'm gonna allow this for the chat. And now you see that the, the navigate functionality kicks in and it is going to open up the browser for us over here. And now it is going to go and navigate to the page and it is going to take a screenshot and then it is going to perform the click of the uh, login link there. And then it is going to perform the, uh, the entry of the username and password uh, on the UI. But even before it's doing all these things, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go and close the browser, right? And the moment I close the browser, you will notice that it says that it seems there was a connection issue. Let me try to navigate to the website by clicking the login link again. You see that this is the retry mechanism that we have built in in the Playwright MCP server. It is going to retry if there happens any issue in the connectivity or there is a uh, there is an issue with the browser being crashed or there is a locator change even. It will try to retry those, uh, those operations and then it will try to run the same test once again for you. Look at that. Now it is again waiting for the login operation to happen and because it has just crashed over here, You'll notice that it's just waiting to see uh, whether it is in the correct page or not. And then it has clicked it and now it is trying to uh, fill the details on the page over there, which is amazing. So now it has performed the login operation and now it's going to click the um, employee list, which is great. But now I'm going to close it again. Look at that. Now I'm just trying to force the automation to fail here. And I will. Uh, I wanted to see how the Playwright MCP server is handling those situations. Look at that. In this place, we have navigated all the way until the create employee page. And now the test has got failed. What will happen in our classical automation testing with Playwright or Selenium is that it will not go any further, right? Our test will just abruptly fail. And the test just shows us that there is a failure, take, maybe takes a screenshot and it will show you the video and things. But what if you want to retry the test? You may need to rerun the entire test from the start, right? But in here, you don't have to do any of these situations. You just have to uh, wait, the, wait for the tool to do it for you. And look at that. Now it has resumed the connectivity for us over here. Uh, and it is trying to see if it can able to log in or not. So let's see what is really happening over here. Look at the thinking mechanism of how the AI is going to do all these magics of thinking uh, to choose the right tool for this kind of operation and perform the uh, intended operation over there. Look at that. Now it has logged off and then it is trying to uh, log in to the, uh, to the application one more time. And then it is going to go to the employee list. Uh, look at that and then it's trying to perform a click operation and it is gonna 
do the data entry operation for us. And if you're like me, who is using these automation testing tools like QTP or Windrunner or Selenium Test Complete for past 20 years, you might know like how these testing tools are really maturing these days. Because as you can see over here, now you don't even have to do any exception handling. If you are using QTP earlier, there is something called as recovery scenario handling where you need to configure on the window like how you need to do the recovery of your test execution and what happens if there is any exception happens and what will need to be done after the, the exception has been resolved or the recovery has been completed. So you have to do all these things over there in, in QTP earlier. But right now with this particular features as you can see over here, you don't have to do any such things. Everything is going to be handled for you by these kinds of tool, especially the MCP server, which I'm talking about. And look at that, we also have got our nice little code even being generated, which is quite amazing. Uh, and we can run the test after copy pasting this code into any of our uh, TS or JS file. That's it guys, this is about the exception and uh, error handling mechanism which is baked in our Playwright MCP server of Exit Automation. You can see these features are gonna keep leveraging you even further while you are gonna start using these tools. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and using the Playwright Exit Automation MCP tool. Once again, catch you in the next video where we're gonna be talking about even more features. See you soon.